that we just cause problems everywhere we go and cause problems for ourselves. Well, that's mm. not strictly true. You know, like I said, there are Jake that are trying to do, well, I say trying to do good in their own mind. Mm. You know, like, you know, in the, in, the, in, the, in the sense that they're trying to make an honest living and all that kind of stuff. You know, but we've been put to shame in, in this land. Yeah. Okay. Because we put the, the Lord to shame. Because we're meant to be his people and yet we was all into all kind of fuckery. You know, excuse me, my French, but you know, we ashamed, we shamed the Lord. So that's why we, we're being put to shame now. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the Lord's going to, you know, redo all that, man. He's going to give us a great name on earth mm -hmm. like we were supposed to have. You know, being the representatives of, of, of the Most High on earth. Yeah, the monument. You know, that's right. What's going on? Verse 20. At that time will I bring you again, even in the time that I gather you. For I will make you a name and a praise among all people yeah. of the earth. When I turn back your captivity before your eyes, saith the Lord. Okay, so that, that, that is the point, man. The Lord's going to make us a praise in the earth, man, among all nations. And they're going to know. And, you know, it says in that day when the Lord comes to deliver us from captivity. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a point, another point I, would, I might as well just make is that how is that then them gutterites there in the land of Israel? Because they're in the land, so they must be out of captivity, right? Hmm. Okay, but they're not appraising the earth, man. They cause all kinds of shit happening on the earth, man. No one likes them. <laughs> Nobody likes them, you know. But that's because they're devils, man. You know, but the Lord never, it, the Most High hasn't come back to, to, you know, take them out of slavery to put them in the land. That's a damn fabrication what they've, they, they've done there. Okay, the rule is like they're still in slavery. Okay, we're the ones that have been put to shame. Yeah, but the Lord's, like I say, He's gonna do the, the do the, the one eighty on that and give us that great name back, basically. And we've got to be a praise in the earth. And all these other nations are not gonna have no power over us like they have, have had, you know, over over all this time. You know? You know what I'm saying now? Uh, Nah, I ain't got it out. No. Damn. Let's just see something quickly. Is that it? Oh, okay. That's cool. We could end it on that. You know, because like I said, man, we just need to get the head out of here, man. And the most size, you know, it's going to make everything all right, man. Okay, we don't have to keep stressing about this world and everything that's going, you know, going on with us in it, you know, the, the suffering and shit. The most I gonna make a glorious, you know, name for us, man. Okay, we gonna be ruling in the kingdom of Israel. Okay, in the kingdom of heaven. Okay, and we can we can live blessed, you know, in every everything that we do. Going back to to uh, Deuteronomy twenty eight with the blessings, man. Everything that we put our hands to do, we bless, man. And you know, there ain't gonna be nothing that. Uh, can impede us again because we're going to be perfect in the kingdom. Okay, right now we have to suffer this bullshit under under Esau's um, rulership, and we play play by his rules, kind of you know, in a sense, with his laws and shit, you know. But hey, man, this place is going to be destroyed real soon, man, and you know we can't wait, man, to get out of this hellhole, man. You know, so that, that you got anything to say right now? Up? No, that's it. Okay, we're going to say shalom, and we'll shalom. catch you on the next video. Shalom. shalom.